Welcome to a, a slightly different version of a research design build. In today's episode, I'm going to go back to some of the 3D printing stuff that I've done before. Uh, I've got a review and sort of the build process of the uh, Prusa printer that I bought from them uh, earlier in the year, or I guess last year now. Um, and uh, in a couple of those videos, I did mention the fact that the ability to design your own sort of parts and solutions in a 3D CAD software was, uh, was really crucial in getting the most out of your 3D printer. So this is an example of that. Uh, this is a problem that my wife uh, came to me with. So this is her sewing machine. It's a, uh, a serger. Um, it's a baby lock ovation for those that are into uh, sewing. And what a serger does is it, um, when you're sewing two pieces of fabric together, it will actually trim off the excess. It's got a couple of knives in there. And what that leaves is a lot of little cutoffs. So the problem with that is that the machine by design basically just spits them out the side here. And this ends up on either your lap or at best on the uh, on your work table. So there aren't really any solutions out there that I know of from Baby Lock or from any of the other manufacturers. Um, there are a couple out there. Um, and uh, so that was sort of the problem that my, uh, my wife had and came to me with my 3D printer and said, hey, how about you make me something useful? So uh, using some 3D CAD software, I was able to model a solution and this is what I came up with. So this is the end result and I will uh, show you a uh, time lapse of the print of this. Now the print of this took about nine hours. Uh, I did use the standard Prusa uh, slicer settings for their prusament which I was using. Uh, I was pin printing this in uh, PETG uh, just because that's what I had available in white. Uh, a, uh, you know, ABS would have worked fine. Um, and even, uh, uh, you know, ASA or any, any of the, any of the stuff would have worked fine. Um, it's not going to be in a hot environment or anything like that. So, uh, this is just basically printed out of that because that's what I had on hand. And using the standard settings at a 0.2 layer height um, and in their uh, quality setting, this is going to be a finished part that we we're going to have for quite a while. So I wasn't looking to print it in the, uh, any of their speed or draft settings. So overall turned out, uh, turned out quite well. Um, and, uh, and happy with the design. So this tab here uh, uses the weight of the machine and it's just offset the, the height by, you know, sort of half a millimeter or something like that to get some weight on it so that it holds it in securely. Uh, still does allow you to adjust the adjustment knobs here and that's why there's that sort of half moon cutout in the, uh, in the design. But uh, implementing something like this is uh, what I find the, the best use of the 3D printers. Uh, I'm sure a lot of them are used to just print items that are uh, easily downloaded off the internet from Thingiverse or any of the other websites, or even uh, Prusa has their own uh, forum where you can download uh, pre-made uh, STL files and then just slice them to your, uh, your sort of desired uh, end quality. So, but uh, if you're getting into a hobby, uh, really consider getting into the 3D design in a CAD software. That's what's going to allow you to take it from sort of a, a toy or novelty item into a real tool. And uh, that's why I consider it just another tool that I have in addition to my woodworking and metalworking tools. This is a plastic, uh, you know, tool for me, another thing in my arsenal to develop, you know, end products uh, for around the house. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I will have some more content coming up on some of the other three printed parts that I've done around the house that are of a functional nature and uh, really showcase the ability of the Prusa printers to produce functional objects that you can utilize in service 
that aren't just uh, sort of novelty items. So hopefully you, you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing. If you have any questions about this or looking for the STL file, or even if you want one of these printed for yourself, um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you uh, as best I can. All right, appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.